Hi guys, it's me Kiku. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming another social media 101 video and the focus is going to be all about Canva and how you can create your brand identity there and also create the most amazing graphics and content for your business. So guys, I know how it is as a small business owner or entrepreneur. It's very, very easy to feel super overwhelmed, under-resourced and ill-equipped or skilled when it comes to producing content. But honestly, there's never been a better time to be an entrepreneur or to own a small business. I think I've said this before, but it's so true. There are so many free resources available to us, which mean that we don't need to be super skilled. We don't need to have spent loads of times doing a course to learn how to do loads of different things and that is true for creating content also and canva as a platform is an example of one of those tools canva is a low cost platform that you can use to produce content they operate on the freemium model which i've spoken about before so you can actually get access to it for absolutely free but you have access to limited functionalities but even at this limited level of functionalities you get access to so many things I personally do have a premium account and it enables me to do so many things that are honestly amazing and it only costs like £11 a month if you're here in the UK, I think it's about $15 or something like that but it only costs me £11 a month and I will happily spend that £11 a month because I use Canva for everything. I use Canva to create my social assets, whether it's creating little graphic cards or whether it's resizing my images to be square or to be portrait for Instagram stories, you know, I can do absolutely everything. And if I've made a particular piece of content, say for print, and I wanna resize it to actually put it on my social media so it needs to be one by one or square, I can literally resize that at the click of a button and then, you know, make any other amends that I might want to. And that's not available on the free model, but it is available to you on the premium model. So it's just little things like that. If you think that you'll get the use out of it, then I would definitely encourage you to sign up to get a full license. And if you are interested in getting a full license, you can check out my link in my bio. You should find a free affiliate link there for you to go ahead and use. So if you didn't know by now, Canva is one of my go-to tools as an entrepreneur and small business owner. Just to give you a little bit of background on Canva, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I wish it was, but maybe in the future. Canva is a simplified graphic design tool which was established in 2012 by an amazing woman. You know me, I'm all for women in business. It uses a drag and drop format, which is amazing. This is what I mean, but you do not need to be super skilled. And it gives you access to different images, vector sizes, and fonts, which is fantastic. So everything you need is within the platform. But if you did want you know, a specific font um, that wasn't there already, you can actually upload your font to the platform, which is amazing. This platform is actually used by non-designers and designers alike. So you are using something that even graphic designers themselves also use. So it is a fantastic platform. Like I mentioned already, I use Canva to create social media content, but I also use it to create print content. So for my e-commerce business, brainswim.co.uk, you can go check that out, cheeky little plug. Little thank you cards that go into every single order that I ship out, I created them on Canva. My business cards I created on Canva. In fact, in the swimwear that we produce as a business, there's a little, you know, enclosing tags in there, which tell you the size, it's got the logo of the brand on there, and also it's got washing instructions and information. Guys, I designed all of that in Canva. Yes, I did. Even the little swing tags that go on the clothing, I designed that in Canva. Everything pertaining to my businesses, I pretty much make in Canva. And to be honest, I actually use Canva to also make my wedding stationery. Yes, I did. <laughs> so it's great. You can use it for absolutely everything. That's basically the point that I'm trying to get across. It's a great and versatile tool that you just need to get your hands on. Um, so let's jump into it guys. I'm now going to share my screen with you and I'm going to walk you through the platform That's going to show you how you can create your brand kit on Canva for this You will need a premium account, but there are other ways we can get around that too And I will show you that and then secondly I'm going to show you how you can go about creating content using Canva So guys, let's get into it right guys So this is Canva when you log into Canva. This is what you should see if I scroll down, you will see that this section here would allow you to create a design. 
this section here will show you all of your previous designs and then here they've got a whole load of different templates that you can use we will come back to this section a little bit later but to get started what i want to show you is on this side so before i jump into the brand kit and how you can create your own brand identity you know here on canva i'll just run through these so this is pretty similar to what i mean i just showed you so if you click on this button here you'll see all your designs you can see all templates here these are all the photos that you have uploaded into canva and then these are various different apps what we want is this one here brand kit so when you click on brand kit what it will do is it will bring up you know the different brand logos that you have and then the brand colors for all of the different businesses that you have obviously here you can see that i have a few different you know projects that i work on so i've created different brand kits for each one of these products projects so here is where you want to upload your logo it's as simple as you know clicking the button then uploading it from the file that you from the file or folder that you've saved it on your desktop in terms of creating brand colors this is really important i spoke about this last week in our brand identity video to create brand color palettes on canva you do need to have a premium account so that is just something to bear in mind and all you would literally do is literally press this plus button here then you would give your color palette a name how embarrassing i cannot spell um and then you will literally click and pick your colors and the great thing that you can see here is that when you click a particular color if you like that it comes with a color code we call this a hex code now if you don't have the paid for version of canva what you can do is this let's create a logo just for the sake of this here we can kind of hack the system to create our brand palette you just won't have it saved here in canva so here if you click new color similarly you get this color spectrum here similarly you get this color spectrum here if you toggle it along the bottom it will change the color for you and then here in the box it will let you define you know you know how bright you want that yellow or how dark you want it will be more like brownie etc etc but say you wanted a yellow to be part of your brand color kit i like quite soft colors so as you can i don't know if you can tell from the various different branding palettes i have but i'm going to select this yellow what i can do here is make a note of this and then in a new tab i can jump into google sheets i'm going to create a new blank document for myself i'm going to call it color palette i'm going to call it color wheel or test brand cool and then i'm gonna put i'm gonna make this a bit bigger if i can okay it's not letting me right now so i'm just gonna put color hex code and then sample cool right so i put that in the wrong so our first color is yellow and then to get a sample literally what i would do is i can either just screenshot it here or i can actually download it so let's download it and then we will go back to Oops, yep, I need to find out how I can screen record this for you guys. I'm going to insert an image in the cell. And then it should be in my downloads. There we go. 
and it's literally guys as simple as that and then let's just make that centralized because those things kind of irk me Okay, and then literally we're just going to continue doing that so if you're not paying for Canva you can literally create your brand colour wheel palette whatever you want to call it in here so let's go back into our document and let's create additional colours for our brand so we're going to have yellow as one of our main colours and then let's also have white so white if you don't know is just always f's so we're going to create that i'm going to put white in my document i'm going to drop this in here and then i mean i could even actually leave that leave that white because the cell is actually white and then i'm going to go and pick my next color so i would like gray to be one of my brand colors but i want it to be like a really kind of like light gray this gray is actually a little bit yellow so i'm just gonna scroll along a little bit i like this gray so i'm gonna copy the hex code there drop that in my box literally right gray here and then we can download that as we did previously i'm just going to click page two because that's the only page i want download that that should download super quick and then i'm gonna hit insert and i'm gonna hit image in the cell like we did last time and then i'm just gonna upload it bish bash bosh super easy you know i'm gonna leave white there and then i'm also gonna add black because i want all of my fonts to be black so i'm gonna create a new page i'm gonna hit new color black is always six zeros with a oops the command a command c command a to select everything command c to copy it and then we're going to go ahead and give that a download to so we're just going to download page three and then we're going to go ahead and upload that here And there we have it. Literally, that's our color palette. I'm just gonna format this because I made it like that. Yeah. And there we have our color palette, guys. So that is literally really easy, or brand kit, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, in since I now know my color hex codes, I can literally copy these. And also make these in Canva so I can save that there and then I'm gonna add my second color which is white which is six F's it's always six F's and then I'm gonna add my third color which is our custom gray and the great thing about using hex codes guys is that if you are to if you are someone who's creating products, for example, and you're working with manufacturers and suppliers, you can literally give them your hex codes and they should be able to get the exact same colours that you are using, your brand colours. There we go. And we'll add our black. And that's it. We have our brand kit here in Canva. Outside of fonts, one of the things, sorry, outside of colours, one of the things we discussed was fonts. I'm going to close this. I'm going to need to get a charger for my laptop in just a moment. We can also add a font. So here you can see that for one of my brands, because they're all here, um, 
these are the fonts that we use so we all for bold headings we always use Montserrat in the size 31.5 for subheadings we use Montserrat semi bold in 18 and for the body of the text we always use Montserrat just normal Montserrat in 12 so you can literally add your fonts here you know scroll through pick the fonts that you want any font with a crown next to it is a premium font if there are fonts as i mentioned before that you know are not sorry are not in canva you can always upload them and you can just upload them here you know and it's literally as simple as that so guys that is creating your brand kit really simple really straightforward within canva the great thing about this is that now if you're in your document and you're creating something you can literally see your brand colors here so if you were making a graphic for example like this say we're using a template and we want to change it to our brand colors we can literally find our brand colors right here i need to refresh this page so that i can get my test colors that we just created but if i click that here we go so if yellow is, sorry, our main colour, you can literally change it right here. And then if our secondary colour is the grey, we can change it right here too. Change the font. Oops. To our secondary colour. Here's the grey. And then if we've decided that all of our bold font is gonna always be in black. We just select that and then we select our black. And there you have it. I'd probably make this black as well just because it's not really too legible on our yellow background. And as I said, guys, when we're picking colors and picking fonts, we wanna make sure that it's always legible. So there we go. We've just customized um, a template using our colors which is just accessible through our brand kit when we want to search for color palettes if you haven't got a premium account and you've saved it saved your colors in your google sheet that's fine you literally just select the color and then you drop it in here and it should change there you go from your search in terms of finding your logos, they will all be saved here for you. So guys, now I'm gonna talk you through how to use Canva to create different sorts of designs. Obviously this is a social media 101 video, so I'm gonna show you how you can create an Instagram in-feed post. So if we literally go here and we click create design, it should drop down like so many different formats that you can use. If you can't find it there, you can literally just type in Instagram post here and it will bring up the dimensions for you and the various different templates and also the, your designs that you have created in the past. So you can either pick a template or you can just click a blank design we're going to just click a blank design for the purpose of this video right and now on the right hand side so on the left hand side you will see that there are also templates here that you can always use so i'm going to create two sheets just so that you can see and then i'm going to go ahead and click this template and then here I'm just showing you we can make our own design. Let's edit our template first. As I said in my intro to this video, Canva is a drag and drop tool. So if you did not like the image of this girl here, it's as simple as changing it. So you can literally click photos here and you can search for, you know, any kind of photo that depicts whatever it is that your business um, is selling all the services that you provide. Let's say that we're a travel agent. You can literally drag and drop this beautiful image of this, what looks like 
Greek view, Mykonos or something, you know, you can drag, drag and drop it here. And you can copy the, sorry, you can change the copy by literally clicking on it. And if you highlight it, you can go up here and you can change the font to whatever you want. You can make it bigger or smaller. And if you like the size, you can just click undo there. But we've said we're a travel agent, so let's change this to cheap flights going fast. And then this little subtext here, we can change to book flights to Mykonos. So this is a graphic that we're going to post on our social media or maybe use for advertising. We've got nice bold font here, all in caps lock. And if you didn't want this in all in caps lock, you can literally press this button here, uppercase, lowercase. There you go. Let's change this black background to our yellow. And then let's change this font to our black. There we go, and now our branding is all on point. If you didn't want to use a template, you can always use your own blank document. And adding images is as simple as dragging and dropping. In order to get that same shape, you would literally just press this button here, elements. And then you would scroll down to shapes. So you can then resize this shape however you want. I'm just checking here to see the sizing of our box that we had here. So it was about that and then just a little bit higher. And then to change the color, it's the same as we've done in the past. And then in order to add text, you literally just click the text button. We want to add a heading first because we had a big heading which said cheap flights going fast. Right. And then to make it all on top of each other, you literally just drag the little white bar this here we're gonna align this to the left because that's what it was like on our template so to do that we'll just go up here and we click until it aligns left like here and then our font is a little bit small so I'm just gonna highlight it all and I'm gonna make it bigger it's kind of this font was size 63.8 so I'm just gonna highlight it and I'm just going to type in 63.8 just in that and then just align that and then on our template we had this little subtext here so to do that we're just gonna click add a little bit of body text oops we're on the wrong one select the right asset drag this here it's quite small I'm gonna change that there so we had 16.2 so I'm gonna make this 16.2 gonna also align this to the left and just because of time I'm just gonna copy the text here and then we're going to press this to make it all uppercase and to make it fit 
I didn't even clock the typos, I didn't correct the typos. And here you can see that the spacing is a little bit different so to change the spacing of your copy you can literally just play with it here so this is currently at 115 and then the line height is at 1.54 which you can increase or decrease I'm going to just copy that here You can actually just type it in, and then this was oh, it's 15. There we go, and I've literally just shown you guys how you can step by step recreate templates or just create your own design. If you wanted this to not be an image, you can delete that and you can literally just change the document color to be one of your brand colors you know and if you don't want an image to necessarily fill your whole screen you can literally just click the image and then resize it as you like and if you wanted to crop the image you just either click crop here or you can just double tap it and then you can crop it accordingly just depending on what you want so say we cropped it like this actually and then we decided that we wanted it to be the full size of our document we could also do that and then in order to get our yellow box now missing you would just literally press position and you would send this backwards so that it brings this element forwards so yeah that is a instagram post other things i'll just straight run you through some other things that you can do here so you can actually add music i'm pretty sure this is a premium element so i'm not gonna spend too much time going through that you can add video as well so if you wanted to like i said i also believe that this is a premium element so if you were to hit download it would download as a video you know but like i said this is a premium element here you they have backgrounds that you can have access to different different things so you can always browse through that but this section here is all images that you have personally uploaded so you can literally just drag and drop images in so these are our colors that we had downloaded previously you can always drag and drop them in you can just literally drag and drop it into your document however you like and there you have it and guys to be honest the process is exactly the same as an instagram story so you would just go ahead and do that the same way thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learn loads about canva and how you can use it to create your brand identity or brand kit as they call it and how you can start using canva to create all sorts of awesome different types of content if you have not signed up to the platform just yet, please stop here, go sign up and then come back so I can say goodbye to you. But that is honestly it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a cheeky comment down below, but only if it's positive. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I will see you in next week's video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.